Okay, so in the first lesson we talked about doing an overwrite edit, and we've got basic cuts going on here, right? So if I go down here and I grab my playhead, you can see as we approach the cut of the clip that it cuts from one shot to the next. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut again. I'm going to double click on our video folder. I want to go get this shot right here. This is a shot, our character's name is Brock Mellows, by the way. So I'm going to double click on this shot and Brock Mellows is getting out of the car. And so here's our entire clip. Now, do I need to show the entire clip? Probably not. But I'm going to mark an endpoint here on the clip. And I want to show Brock Mellows getting out of the car, coming around, and I'm going to mark out. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do another overwrite edit. You know, the playhead is uh, here at the end of the shot. Let's go ahead and overwrite in. So now let's go back and scrub through. You see the car pull up, the bush shake. Now I want to go ahead and go back to this bush shake shot again. I want to use a little bit, uh, a little bit of the shot. Say we notice right here is the the portion of the shot that we used before. And so now I'm going to use where the camera starts to push in, mark out. Let me just close the, or I'll move the bend down here out of our way. So I'm going to do another overwrite edit. So you can see we're starting to build our pearl necklace here. Brock gets out. We go back to the bush again for a second. Let me zoom out by pulling this to the right. Let's go back to our video clip folder. So here's a shot of Brock walking up to the house now. Mark in, mark out. Right here where he leans out, I'll mark out. Same thing with this shot. I'm going to use multiple uh, pieces from this shot. We'll go ahead and do an overwrite edit. Okay. So there's another way, I mean, there's always multiple ways to interpret, you know, a film. And what I'm going to do is show you a different style. Right now, this is just cuts only, but this time I'll do a little bit of a different edit. And let's go back and I'm going to get the car pull up wide. I'm just going to drag the shot down to the timeline. Like so. This time we'll do what's called a dissolve or a fade, right? So here's the car pulling up. And when we do a dissolve or a fade, what we're really doing is showing a passing of time. So I'll double click on the other shot. So here's Brock getting out of the car. I'm gonna put it right up against this shot. So right now it's just a cut, right? So one of the ways that we can do basic transitions, a fade or a dissolve, inside of Adobe Premiere, and here I'll just scoot this up a little bit so you can see it, is if I right click right here on the cut, see how I right clicked on the cut and I go to apply default transition, it will place a transition in there, a dissolve, and then if I drag through it, you can see the fade, right? So that indicates a passing of time. Let's go ahead and play this back and watch it in real time. See that? So we're, we're speeding things up by using the fade. You know, we're showing a passing of time. You know, there's always multiple approaches to how we uh, cut a film or a video. In this particular case, you know, I'm showing the passing of time Whereas before I was like a cuts only, and this time I kind of showed parallel action with the first edit, right? So we show the car pulling up, then we show something else going on in the distance that's kind of a visual cue of what might happen later here in our film. Then you can see I'm going back to Brock Mello's getting out of the car. I go back to the bush again to give you even a larger visual cue that there's something in the bush waiting for Brock Mello's. So this is you know, two different styles, two different ways to approach the opening of this particular film. So we'll pause here for a second and I'll let you practice with dissolves and cuts 
and we'll come back shortly.